Welcome to Art in Motion in Holding Ford, Minnesota, <laughs> July of 23. So, Liz, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. My name is Liz Hilliard. I use they, them pronouns. I am here through Art in Motion's partnership with Minneapolis College of Art and Design. I'm about to enter my second year of the program. Very good. And my practice is... Uh, where, where are you from, Liz? Oh, I... Mostly Colorado. Mostly yeah. Colorado? Mm -hmm. And now you currently live in? Minneapolis. I've nope. been there for about six years now. Okay, very good. Yeah, so tell, tell a little bit about the art, your, uh, your process uh, that you kind of work on right now. Yeah, well, uh, my practice has been uh, developing a social arts practice, so something a bit more public facing and participatory. Um, my thesis has been about land and body relationships, uh, but I've been using this as a chance to revisit painting again and themes involving the environment. Very good. So as an artist, what's, uh, what were your, your early inspirations to, to the, the, the spirit of art? I played a lot of video games and listen to a lot of music that never ended up actually influencing the art that I made, but it is uh, where I found a love for visual arts at first, yeah. Very good. In the graphic art scene, I would take it with videos, something like that. Animation. Animation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like 2D animation kind of stuff. Oh, very good. Do you have any, uh, would you say you have any influencers in your as you develop your art uh, skills or anything that you kind of, you know, when you see their art, you kind of say, ooh. Well, in regards to other artists, I don't have too many. I think there was a time I was pretty obsessed with the work of Ai Weiwei. Mm -hmm. um, but I think my main inspiration has been through mentors I found in academia. Okay, very good. So would you say that uh, arts will be your, uh, your profession as far as creating art, selling art, or how, how is art going to shape your life or your career? Well, you know, the way I found my way to art was feeling a little lost and just searching for what felt good, and that's making art. So I think that that's just going to continue to be a part of my lifestyle and has become a part of my vocation as well as being an educator. Okay, very good. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the, the project you're working on here at Art in Motion in Holyford? Yeah, uh, it's probably the closest I've ever gotten to like fan art. Uh, I, I guess this is a bit of a callback to what I said about music and my upbringing, but these are both paintings inspired by lyrics from some of my favorite bands. So behind me is the start of a choral painting that will eventually say on it, destroy those who destroy the earth. And that is a line from the song Blankenship by the band Die. And the other painting I'm working on, You Are the Sea, Nobody Owns You, is a lyric from a song called Great Mass of Color by the band Death Heaven. Very good. So I love the vivid, uh, I guess you call it purple, shades of purple behind you? Yeah. Yeah, I love that <laughs> color. And so the, the stuff you've been working on is just uh, the canvas, the paintings, and then you got you took some, got some old wind, windows here that you're putting some lettering to? And yep, yeah. I just found some old windows laying around that I'm able to make use of. So that's very exciting. Very good. Being, uh, being residing in Minneapolis, uh, how do you find the little village of Holdingford with the little Lake Wubagon Trail? I was a little unsure of what to expect, but it's been like, you know, the hospitality is real and your generosity and the generosity of everyone who's working here. I felt really welcome and Lily, uh, the art coordinator, has been really accommodating and helpful and lovely to be around. Yeah. Well, so very good. It's been great. Thank you. Well, we welcome you here, and uh, we look forward to seeing your uh, some more of your art here very soon and in the future. Thank you. Thank you very much.